Nutrients can also be brought up, though less predictably, by rough weather. Particularly near the poles, huge storms stir the depths and enrich the surface waters. And here in the South Atlantic, the seas are the roughest on the planet. And very rich seas they are too, for here the cold Falklands current from the south meets the warm Brazil current from the north, and at their junction there is food in abundance. These black-browed albatross are duck-diving for krill that has been driven up to the surface. Like all albatross, black brows are wanderers across the face of the open ocean. A feeding assembly on this scale is a rare sight. Most of the time, the birds of the open sea are widely dispersed. But these feeding grounds are close to an albatross breeding colony, and a very special one. This is Steeple Jason, a remote island in the far west of the Falklands. It has the largest albatross colony in the world. There are almost half a million albatross here, an astonishing demonstration of how fertile the ocean can be and how much food it can give even to creatures that do not actually live in it. Nutrients by themselves are not enough to generate these vast assemblies. The heat and light that the sun brings every day is also essential for the growth of the microscopic floating plants, the phytoplankton. And it's the phytoplankton that is the basis of all life in the ocean. <laughs> 